Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all well and healthy. It's great to see all of your smiling faces. I'm Patrick and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So for all you students out there, it's almost time to go back to school. Or maybe you're just getting started and you need to deck out your room. Don't worry, we got you covered. Now you should probably go grab a snack or something because I'm gonna show you 20 of my favorite accessories that I think will be awesome for students. Some of them are functional and some of them are just fun. I'll put links to everything in the description in case you're interested. And because we know that student life can be expensive, I'll be giving away some of the items you see in this video. I'll be putting hashtags next to the items that we're actually giving away. So pay close attention and I'll be explaining how to win these items at the end of the video. So let's ramble. First up, there is the hero of any desk or nightstand, the Google Nest Hub. It's basically a Google Home with a screen, which makes it super versatile. You can use it as an alarm clock, a photo frame, you can watch YouTube videos on it, stream Netflix, play music or podcasts, check out your parents' security cameras when you get homesick, and of course, you can ask it all the googly questions your heart desires. Best of all, you can get it for under 90 bucks. Next up is the Devoom Timebox Evo. Equally impressive looking on your desk or nightstand, this gadget doesn't have any of the fancy Google smarts, but it's possibly even more fun to use. It's essentially a Bluetooth speaker with a screen that is made up of 256 programmable RGB LEDs, so the possibilities are endless. There's a whole community of pixel artists out there creating awesome designs for this thing, or you can simply design your own. But that's not all it does. This thing is an alarm clock, it can record voice memos, and it measures noise so you can finally confront that snoring roommate and have the data to back it up. You can also use it as a scoreboard playing beer pong, and you can set it up to show your notifications as they come in on your phone. In fact, it can do so much that I'll be doing a dedicated review on it soon. While the speaker on the Devoom is fine, especially for its size, it's not super powerful. If you're looking for a small package with a big punch, get the Ultimate Ears Wonderboom. I love the design of this thing. It's like a minimalist friendly hand grenade. Simply connect via Bluetooth and you're good to go. This thing can easily fill a room with music and it sounds amazing for its size. You can control the volume from your device or by using the giant buttons on the front. The newer version of this thing is around $100, but you can pick up this original version for as low as 60 bucks. A little bonus feature is that it's water resistant, so you can use it by the pool without any worries. If you like your tech and you're heavily invested into the Apple ecosystem, this next accessory is probably one of the most useful gadgets out there. The Belkin 3-in-1 wireless charging station does exactly what it sounds like. It charges three Apple devices at once. You can wirelessly charge your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods at the same time. So instead of cluttering up your desk with a bunch of chargers, this thing keeps all your devices charged and looks pretty awesome doing so. It comes with its own power supply and the LED light shows you the charging status. If all you need to charge is your phone, I like this wireless charging pad by Decoded, which barely takes up any space on your desk. The wireless fast pad delivers up to 10 watts for the quickest charge possible. The smart LED will let you know when your device is done charging. I love the way this looks on my desk. The pad itself has this premium leather inlay, which keeps your phone in place and prevents it from scratching. It even comes with a leather USB cable, so you know it will last a long time. Next up is this really cool 10,000 milliamp power bank by Belkin. What makes it so interesting is that it's not just a battery, but it also doubles as a stand for your phone, which makes it the ideal accessory for longer YouTube sessions on the go, and of course for gaming. With its 12 watt shared USB-A and USB-C out ports, it can charge your phone and your gaming controller while you play. No more drained batteries. Speaking of controllers, since iOS 13, it is super easy to connect external devices to your iPhone and iPad. Apple only allows certain controllers and the Xbox One controller is one of them. I really like this Arctic Camo Special Edition. It doesn't do anything spectacular, it just looks cool. Just connect it via Bluetooth and game on. Another student essential is a decent pair of headphones. Whether you're playing games, watching a video, or listening to music to help you study, nobody around you needs to hear that. So definitely invest in some good headphones. There are basically three options, over-the-ear headphones, in-ear headphones, and of course, true wireless buds. So let's go over some of my favorites. Since most phones come without a headphone jack these days, we need to get creative. The most obvious solution is wireless buds. 
I know everybody wants to be rocking those Apple AirPods Pro, but let's be honest, those things are expensive, and the last thing you need as a student is to splurge on overpriced headphones. Yeah, I said it. Please leave your hate comments below. Fortunately, there are plenty of more affordable alternatives. My favorites are the Jabra Elite 65Ts. These things have amazing sound quality for both calls and music, they're Alexa or Google enabled and have a bunch of other features like pass through ambient audio so you can listen to music and still be aware of what's happening around you. You can customize your listening experience by using the Jabra Sound Plus app on your device. Sometimes wireless buds are not ideal. For example, if you're editing video and audio on your device, you don't want any latency. For these situations, a wired solution is still better. Since we no longer have an audio jack, if you're using an iPad Pro or Android phone with a USB-C connection, these inexpensive but solid Rockstar headphones by Belkin plug right into your device. If you need to do some more serious work or you're one of those people that can't stand in-ear buds, a nice pair of over-the-ear headphones will be perfect for you. I can highly recommend these Audio-Technica M50Xs. In my opinion, some of the best bang for your buck headphones out there. I use these to edit video all the time, or if I really want to immerse myself into some music or an audiobook. What's cool about these is that they come with three different cables to suit your needs. And if there isn't an audio jack available, simply use one of these and you're all set. If you're into streaming, creating videos, or you just want better audio during interactive online classes or video calls, you're gonna need a microphone. There are plenty of great mics out there, but the Blue Yeti stands out as it is one of the best budget-friendly options available. Chances are you've seen this thing before because it's so popular and it's kind of difficult to miss its robust old school design. What makes it so popular is its amazing sound quality and its many options. The Yeti has a knob that lets you switch between stereo, cardioid, bidirectional and omnidirectional, making this one of the most versatile USB mics around. It's plug and play so all you need to do is hook it up to your computer via USB-A and you're all set. But Patrick, I own a MacBook and I don't have a USB-A. Fear not my friends, the Hyperdrive Duo is here to save the day. It attaches snugly to the side of your MacBook Pro, and because of its sleek design and the space gray color, it looks almost like it's a part of it. The Hyperdrive has two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, an SD and a micro SD card reader, and an HDMI plug to hook up your MacBook to an external monitor. For all other devices, or if you're simply not that fussed about it looking pretty, I recommend this inexpensive but great USB-C hub by Anchor. It offers all the ports you could possibly need, including slots for both SD and micro SD cards, and it even has an Ethernet port for that lightning fast internet. It has a power delivery input, so if you have only one USB-C port available, you can use the dongle to hook up whatever accessory you need and still be able to charge it. Now, probably the single best tool you can have as a student is the iPad Pro. And if you're fortunate enough to own one, you're gonna wanna take notes on it. The Apple Pencil is excellent, but as with all things Apple, it's expensive. And if you don't need the pressure sensitivity the Apple Pencil offers, the Logitech Crayon is a really good and less expensive alternative. If you're interested in seeing my full comparison, I will link up that video in the card above. The Logitech Crayon charges via USB-C, so that's awesome, and a full charge gives you about 7.5 hours of battery life. Don't worry if you do run out of battery, because a 2 minute top up will give it 30 minutes of use. The best thing about the Crayon is that you don't need to pair it with your iPad, it uses its own charge to connect. Like the Apple Pencil, it has a hard plastic tip, which makes it a little tricky to write on the glass screen. And if you've seen my previous videos, you probably know that I'm a big fan of the paper-like screen protectors to fix this problem. They're not sponsors, I just really like the way it makes my writing so much easier. There's a link in the description with my code if you want to pick one up. It won't cost you anything, but I get a little kickback to put back into the channel. Alright, so let's talk mouse and keyboard. As a student, you probably want something that is both usable and portable, and doesn't break the bank. My recommendation here would be to go with Logitech. The Logitech K380 is light and compact, it runs on two AAA batteries, which give you a whopping two years of battery life, so you never need to worry about charging it. The typing experience is really nice, and you can switch between three devices with the push of a button, making the K380 the one keyboard to rule them all. Its perfect little travel companion is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. I don't have a whole lot to say about this mouse, except that it's surprisingly ergonomic for such a small mouse. It has programmable buttons, and like the keyboard, it can switch between devices by pressing a single button. 
for heavy lifting at your own desk, I do recommend its big brother, the MX Master 3, which is hands down the best mouse available. The magnetic mouse wheel is super accurate and has a silent option whereby the wheel spins freely, which makes for lightning fast scrolling. The side scroll wheel is superb for video editing. Like the other two, it can switch between devices super easy. When you're sitting at your desk studying your regular eight hours a day, Ah, who am I kidding? When you're sitting at your desk gaming and eating potato chips for dinner, you're gonna get crumbs inside your keyboard and you're gonna smudge your screens. Thankfully, you can get this little guy here on Amazon for a few dollars. The OXO laptop cleaner will wipe your greasy fingerprints off your screens and gets rid of those nasty crumbs. I toss one of these in my bag wherever I go. Finally, here are two small but super useful little gadgets. First, there is this little SD and micro SD card reader by Vanja, which has two ends, USB-A and micro USB. Attach one of these and you'll have USB-C too. It's great for moving files between devices. If you're looking for a thumb drive to move your files around instead, the SanDisk Dual Drive offers you a lot of storage for very little money. It has a USB-A on one side and a USB-C on the other. You can get the 32 gig version for as little as 10 bucks and you can get the 128 gigabyte version for only $19. That's a lot of storage for your money. So guys, it's time for the giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video and leave a comment with the hashtag of the item you'd like to win. Let me know where you're from and whatever else you'd like to add. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you like to shave baby kittens. <coughs> Don't shave baby kittens. They need their fur to stay warm. That's just cruel. See you in the next one.